Okay, here we are out in the lovely garden. Susan, Susan is going to give us a lesson in how to pick potatoes. Because I want fresh potatoes with my dinner tonight. So I'm going to turn it over to Susan Gerbic. Here okay. she is. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I've got a white... See, it doesn't have to be white, but I have something to put in a five-gallon thing. And I'm putting a colander over it. Oops. Stay, Mr. Colander. And then potatoes. I have little potatoes that have been sitting in this compost for months. So what I'm going to do mm. is I'm going to dump this in here like this. Oh, there's one. Like that. Can you see it? Oh! Size. <laughs> Just take the potatoes out. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. You don't have to make this okay, a big deal, you know. Just okay, give me so the potatoes. On. Give me the damn potatoes. I saw a couple in there. I know they're there. Don't worry. Don't panic. This is so much different than living in West Hollywood. Well, I'm sure potato, people have potatoes in West Hollywood. Johnny Depp doesn't. <laughs> he has a condo. I'm sure he's not growing potatoes. <clears throat> What'd you get? Three out of there? <laughs> Two potatoes. Hey. Shush. I'm not done. See, now that's not really that big. I don't care. It's going to go into the dry what? dry heave fry or whatever more. that thing is. You want that one? Yeah. What are you going to do? Throw it away? No, I don't throw them away. They go right back in. See, so you take these small ones, you put them back in here. I thought they'd be on a, like a vine thing or something. Well, they got roots. I don't see any. Wait, wait, wait. Get yourself a farm girl. <laughs> I'm not a farm girl. Yes, you are. You're more of a farm girl than anyone I ever knew. Oh, I'm sure. Janine's a farm girl. That's true, but I didn't meet her till after you. Well, that was it, huh? Okay, well, we'll get another one. Now you're going to take that dirt and go, or you're going to put it right, back, right in back in there. In. Uh oh, there we go. Hardly seems worth the trouble, but... Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me get some more. <clears throat> okay, so you got to keep that in mind that that's... Because it's got little baby potatoes in there, too. We're out here in Grapes of Wrath territory. <laughs> it's got little tiny potatoes in there as well. I understand that. And that they'll, they'll grow, so... I see they... something growing in there. What's well, that? that? A potato. Oh. So if they get really big, then you know you got potatoes. But, um... Take the biggest ones out. Well, yeah. The small ones in to grow later. Here comes Imogen to say hi. Hi, Emo. Imogen likes taters. They got lots of butter on them. Imogen, come here. Imogen. They're all shriveled up, too. They're not shriveled up. That's good. That's enough for, for dinner. That's like six. It's all right. I don't need to eat, like, tons of potatoes. It's not really that good for me. Well, let me see. Look at them sitting there. <laughs> We're back here in the tater bin with Susan Gerbic. <laughs> Let's try one more. Tater cellar. <clears throat> Sometimes you do this and there's tons. Like the last time I did it, there was, there was a bunch, remember? No. Yeah, you eat them. So it Gee. takes a while to do this and you can just keep, you know, looking at them over time. Ooh, that's a good one. I see lots of little tiny ones that are falling in here too, so that you want to save those. 
for folks going to make a bigger potatoes in a few months. It's the Saturday Potato Fest. So what you do is you, Over you keep catnip you keep corners these buckets going all the time. You just keep them keep them going, and then over time you just harvest them when you need them. Well, that oh was my it. Gosh, that was hardly anything. <clears throat> all right, that's good. I only pulled out like two. No, there's there's a handful here. This is this is enough last, for that dinner. Was like two. Okay. You don't eat them, so. Okay, let me see the camera. Yeah, hi, Mark. Hi. <laughs> so let's look at the garden while we're here. So you saw the potatoes. I'm taking these in and I'm gonna scrub them down now. Okay. Oh, here's a here's a. Oh, look, the tomato fell off. That's because I took one that was growing. You took a growing one off and left this one to die. You took it off, huh? Oh, and here's peas. See the peas growing here? There's peas. We're getting the peas coming in. These are starting to go. I'm going to be going out of town to go visit a lot of people all over the place. And I will be, when I get back, the place will be so different. Oh, look at the peas over here. Look at them grow. This is all strawberries. I have some, I have some peas growing there. I'm going to grow them up there. Okay. He's going to take some radishes to our neighbors. So this is the peas and strawberries. And over here, it looks like sunflowers, I think. They're supposed to be, uh, yeah, there's green beans back here. These are uh, random tomatoes that have just grown up. And I'm trying to get lima beans to grow. There's one. And these are cauliflower. I've never really been successful with cauliflower. Here's a squash. I put the plastic around it to help keep the um, cats and the snails out of there. And Brussels sprouts, broccoli. Mark's been harvesting some of the broccoli. That's been coming out pretty good. There's some broccoli and squash, radishes, and uh, beets, all kinds of beets. And then back in here, some onions, more squash lettuce. I'm going to move these carrots because we've been trying to compost in place and the problem is um, I don't have any more holes to dig right now. So I'm going to um, yeah, see I've just replanted the carrots because the carrots I had didn't grow in here. Little tiny carrots. So I don't know how well that's going to succeed using the drawers but the radishes with the radishes in the drawers worked fine. They're probably drying out too quickly for me. And then Carrots, radishes, I was gonna let some flower and make more seed. Lettuce, oh, that one right there, that's that's the one I took all the potatoes out of last time. And so they're all done. So there's a pile of compost I've just dug in this hole and I'm just filling it in with compost. Well, with kitchen scraps and then I'm gonna put dirt over the top of it. I'm trying to do that in various places in the garden so that it makes the compost stronger. Oh, it's a beautiful day. There's Imogen. She says, hey, what are you doing out here? Love this time of the year. Yeah, I love this time of the year for, for growing things in the next month or so. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Hi. Imogen says hi. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining us.